So violent crime is keeping police very busy in St. Louis, where the worst in country murder rate is now at a 50 year high. The police department has nearly 100 unfilled jobs, and the mayor wants to further defund the department and shut down a city jail. This already high number of homicides across the city is up 35 percent from this time last year. Ted Williams is the perfect guest to break this down for us. He's a former D.C. homicide detective and a Fox News contributor. Ted, so it looks like uh, Mayor Jones's new budget proposal here is essentially laying out a plan to close a city jail, then divert $4 million from the police force to various social programs, and then cut um, just under 100 police force jobs. Is that the answer for your city? Jillian, you ever heard the word ridiculous? This borders on just being ridiculous. Uh, Jillian, before I became a lawyer, I was a federal agent. I was a special agent. I worked out of the St. Louis area there. I got to know two of the first black mayors there, Freeman Bosley and Clarence Harmon, personally. And those guys uh, moved crime. They kept uh, in charge of that, that, that city. Uh, they made sure that crime was kept at an all-time low. Uh, you had Judge Jimmy Edwards uh, on the bench there, keeping crime at a low. Uh, to say you want to defund the police uh, force when you have homicides that are off the chart, this is ridiculous. It should not happen in this city, and they need to go and take uh, and look at what happened in Minneapolis. Minneapolis talked about right after George Floyd. We're going to defund the police. And what happened? They wound up giving more money to the police. New York has been stupid. New York has taken money away from police officers. And look at how crime is up there. I can yeah. tell you, if you want to do something, reform the police, but not defund the police. So I looked through Jones's proposal, um, or a summary of the proposal. And so it looks like, Ted, what she's hoping to do with that $4 million she takes from police, she's looking to reallocate to an affordable housing fund, victim support services, and the city's Department of Health and Human Services. Now, based on what you know, can these outfits do the police's job, or is this magical thinking on the part of the mayor? I, I think it's more magical thinking on the part of the mayor. Uh, one of the first tenets of any uh, leader in a city is the protection of its citizens. And this is here when you're talking about uh, taking money and throwing it in other directions. And when you need, really, at this stage, and you didn't mention it, they need at least 100 police officers there in St. Louis right now. Uh, this is ridiculous. This is like throwing the baby out with the bathwater. Um, Ted, so Mayor Jones was only, um, only took office about a month ago. Her supporters say, look, we knew that this, you know, she campaigned on this reform the police um, platform here. She wanted to make um, civil rights first and forefront, make policing more equitable in the city. So what about the argument that this is what um, the good people of St. Louis signed up for? This is what they want. Jillian, you know, I've been around politicians long enough to say that when they are running for office, they say one thing, and a lot of times when they get in the office, they see that things are a lot different and they act accordingly. And I think here she may have campaigned on uh, defunding the police, but now that she's the mayor and she sees that crime is up, uh, it's stupid to say that you're now going to defund the police department uh, uh, it, it, it just shouldn't happen. I'm hoping that uh, she will reverse herself and walk this back. I mean, part of the most important responsibility of being an elected official is being agile and responding to developments on the ground of, you know, where your constituents' um, situations are changing. Ted, thanks so much for breaking it down for us. Uh, we appreciate it. We'll check back with you soon. My pleasure.